So, welcome to our lesson, dear students. Thank you for joining us. I hope others will join during this presentation. Demek, bugünkü mavzuyumuz job interviews and careers. Demek, interview, işte interviewler ve kariyerler. Bugün mavzu. Demek bu mavzumuz biz, bu mavzunu biz tört basmışta organımız. The first one is subject background and the brainstorming or leading activity. And the third one includes reading or listening activities. And finally, we will finish this presentation with a little bit discussion. Okay, this uh, this is how our agenda looks like for today's lesson. So let's continue. And uh, the first one, the subject background. The CV from the Latin curriculum virtue. So, and uh, it is a, the CV, it is a short document that gives an overview of a person's experience um, and the qualifications. The word resume is more common in the United States. A resume is shorter, one page, than the European style CV typically two pages and here you can see the the origins of the resume is us and uh, the origin of the curriculum virtue or the cv is europe okay so and uh, let's see this one in order to make people's skills and qualifications transparent across europe the European Commission developed a standardized CV format known as Europass. Okay, so they make other learning qualifications in Europe, but that uh, or Polish, yani, Berkel, Tarzig, Polish, Marsalda, Europe, Commission. Standardlaştırılgan CV formatını cari klişken ve bu Euro Pass debataları. So, and uh, some social networking sites such as LinkedIn also offer a standard CV format. However, some companies require job applicants to complete their standard application form rather than submit um, submit the uh, cv okay so the make british touch tomorrow time of learn to some linkedin uh link was learning but standard cv format learn that have left on each other i'm a couple of company alert uh she can have a good learn a standard uh are is a formal Tuldrışlarını talep kılışadı. CV taklif kılıçtan kuru. And uh, it is a good practice to modify a CV each time a application is made. Uh, in order to emphasize the particular skills and the abilities each company is looking for. Furthermore, um, an applicant who has uh, changed jobs often could draw attention to their skills and achievements by making uh, these uh, main sections in their CV and apply down the, their string of uh, short-term jobs. They like Harvard the company is layout can probably Maksus kavradılar ve istedikleri urgu bir üst maksadıdır. Siz işte topçuları tıkanızda, o işe objektif kanızda, malum bir derecede uzgetirseyiz, maksat ki muhafuk burada. 
Sizni employability, ya'ni hech qanday qabul qilinish darajangizga yaxshi ta'sir ko'rsatadi. Okay? So, let's go. And uh, what makes a successful CV? Possible uh, possible points includes. Demak, muvaffaqiyatli obyektiv ko'rinish qilishimiz uchun bizga mumkin bo'lgan fikrlar quyidagilardan iborat using reverse date order putting the most recent course or job first and uh, focusing strongly on the most recent job earlier jobs are only of passing interest to an employer amen birinchi asosiy qilinadigan vazifalardan bittasi, ya'ni muvaffaqiyatli CV qilmoqchi bo'lsangiz, bu time, ya'ni sanani beriladigan vaqtni teskari ravishda qo'yish, ya'ni eng hozirda eng band bo'lgan ishingizni birinchi o'ringa qo'yishingiz kerak va qolgan demak qolganlarini, masalan, early jobslarni keng boshroqda qo'yishingiz shart. Chunki birinchi o'rinda turadiganini sizni hozirgi ayni vaqtda ishlayotgan pozitsiya, ya'ni asabingiz bildiradi. Va qolganlari teparoqda bo'ladi. Demak, bu ishga oluvchining chunki bu dastlabki o'qayda oldin ishlagan joyingiz passing interest to an employer. Demak, ishga oluvchiga unchalik qiziqtirmaslik mumkin. Mentioning personal skills, being task oriented, having the ability to meet deadlines. So, uh, only if they are true for you and uh, you can back them up with examples. Demak shaxsiy qobiliyatlarni eslatib o'tish. Demak, sizni masalan, aytaylik, vazifaga orientatsiya qilinganligingiz yoki berilgan deadline'lar, ya'ni belgilangan muddatlarni o'z vaqtida bajarish qobiliyati egaligingiz kabilar o'zingizni shaxsiy qobiliyatlarga kiradi. Faqatgina ular siz uchun to'g'ri bo'lishi kerak. You can back them up with examples. Siz bularni masalan misollar bilan qo'llab-quvvatlashingiz mumkin. Masalan, falon joyda falon ishni qilganman, falon joyda shu ish bilan mashg'ul bo'lganman kabi yusunda. And the listing responsibilities and achievements using bullet points and describing them using uh, action verbs demak siz o'zingizni masalan muvaffaqiyatlaringiz mas'uliyatlaringizni keltirib o'tishingiz mumkin ro'yxatini bullet pointlar bilan bullet point deganimizda bitta nuqta yoziladigan masalan bitta nuqta yoziladingiz gap yoziladi keyingi qatorda yana bitta nuqta keyin yana boshqa bir gap yoziladi bullet point degani shu tushunadi. Va ularni harakat fillari bilan ifodalashga harakat qiling. Masalan, organized, set up, developed, implemented, laid with, ha? organizatsiya qilingan, tuzilgan, rivojlantirilgan, bajarilgan kabi harakat fillari bilan ifodalashingiz mumkin. Bu yerda o'z nomi aytib o'tirganda, action verbs harakat. Bu yerda harakat bo'lish kerak. Buni static bo'lmasligi kerak, yo descriptive bo'lmasligi kerak. Masalan, to be filmaydi degan bo'lsa, to be filmida u ko'proq descriptive bo'ladi. Masalan, I am a leader deymiz, to'g'rimi? Bu descriptive. I lead did a company for two years. Mana bu harakat. Tushunarmi? Okay. So, and uh, emphasizing achievements. So, concrete things you have done rather than just skills and abilities. For a university students, 
achievements might uh, include running a university club, organizing a social event, and internships. Concrete narsalan. Siz bazarga concrete narsalan etishiz ki, çünkü skill yani kabiliyet ve başka talentlerden göre bu şey siz bazarga concrete narsalarına işlatı bulacağız. Bu yasır olmalı. Mesela eğer siz üniversite talabası bulacağız, bu ses üniversite kulüplerine alıp borganıyız. Yok ki bir iştimai vakiyanı organizasyon yapıyoruz. Yok ki internships değilik. Çitte mesela tecrübe ortaya çıkıyor. Talabalar ya taklit kılış ya bir programlar topu bir şey yok ki taşkit kılış diyende bu internship sorunlar. Okay, so the next and here you can see getting a job. This model focuses on the um, process of getting a job uh, through a blog entry. It looks at the story of Lenny and uh, how uh, he got his dream job, while Lenny took what some people would regard as a risk uh, to get a job. Uh, he also worked uh, carefully on preparing uh, his replies to the questions from uh, his future employer. Students have the chance to consider how difficult it is to get employment in the current economic uh, economic climate. So, Derek, we will be able to learn there. Yani, işte kış jarayonu ne Fokus kılamız, yani konsantrat sıklamız. Bu slide'ın kimin isimlerinde. Bu yılda Lini'nin hikayesini çinlemiz. Anlayalım uzun oldukça genişliği, erişkenliği hak edelim. Bundan taşkarı, istatı bu duyguyen ki, bugünkü soğudu muhta iş bilen tamirleniş, kandayı kıyımlığını ve talabalar kandayı imkaniyeti iyiliğini korup çıkamız. A virtual career sphere, sometimes called an online job, an uh, online job fair. The like virtual career eller, metalik fears, kurgazmas. Kurgazmas, the like online tarzda utkazlayan di kuramız. Uyurda iş bir uçular, iş bir uçular. İzle uçularını kandaygılı uh, virtual environment, yani virtual muhtı kandaygılı uçur etişkenliğini kuramız. Mesela uh, chat room deyimiz ve uçurlardan. Uh, it may involve using emails to exchange information about open uh, job openings. Uh, search for the keywords uh, virtual job fear uh, parks and or will uh, bring up sites containing information on how such job peers can help people to find a job ideally. This research should be done before the lesson to familiarize students with online job peers and uh, uh, as a general leading to the topic. Okay, so let's go to the next. Here we have a brainstorming, I mean the discussion, and uh, here's a question for you, dear students. Tell me about your main responsibility in your last job. Why do you want to change your, your jobs? If you have a students who are working in a workplace or have a grand job, you can describe yours, or you don't have uh, you can just um, tell the future job responsibilities and uh, also what kind of uh, position do you want in that uh, job okay i'm going to give you one minute to think about these questions and uh, i will ask you randomly so okay so 
what was it is doing? Okay, the students are ready. So, who can tell me his or her job and the responsibilities of this job? Okay, I will select one person. Asilbe, can you tell me about the, your current job and the responsibilities that is relevant to this job? Any ideas? By the left, Lombik. Kamrom Rizzo, do you have any ideas? So, if you don't have any ideas, dear students, uh, let's just continue. Now we have a reading exercise you can see and uh, in this exercise uh, you should you should read this reading um, that is about the Annie's uh, story in this story um, the Annie uh, is going to get uh, her dream job with Google and uh, you have uh, four questions on the right side, you can see. And uh, after you finish this reading, you will be intended to do these four tasks, okay? So I'm gonna give you five minutes. So five minutes just to do this reading, okay? Now time is going.
So the students finished. Okay. So the questions, the question number one, Lini. Does Lini, uh, did Lini had, uh, have the family connections for getting a drink no. in Europe? Is that, is that right or not? C. C. Yes, absolutely right. It is a C. Here you can see, uh, I am one of those who yes. met Lucky, yes? And uh, the next one. Yes. He contacted Julie by which means... B, the by online chat. By online chat. So, and uh, what about no, this? No, email, by email. I emailed her, yeah? Okay, you can see. And uh, so Julie told Lini to do what? To wait for a call from Annie. C. So, wait for a call from Annie. Where is that? Can you, uh, can you, can you show me? Uh, in the third paragraph, uh, Julia asked it for uh, Annie's CV. She, uh, uh, Lenny's CV. She, uh, she told her uh, uh, to wait for someone from New York. The road to Annie, phone it Annie, waited for Annie to phone. What is it? Waited for Annie to phone. To phone, yes. Absolutely, because here, mm, so call it to contact me. And the full name and the article she had written. So, my full name and the article she had written. I email to comment on the article she had written. So, what about the um, road to Annie? Se second question, maybe uh -huh. uh, B. This one. I didn't want to uh, want to wait for a call. Yes. And in that case, we can see it's it's right because waited for Annie to phone. It's a uh, you know the reverse case of this sentence. And uh, what is your Second answer. Second paragraph, uh, seventh line. Seventh line. Second paragraph. Seventh line. So second paragraph, seventh line. The, so the first. Uh, so I opened a chat window and I talked to someone called Julie from Human Resource. Yeah, Julie. But we're talking about Anne. Yes. And uh, this road to Anne. She knows this. Found Anne's full name and article she had written. I emailed her. How did you email? By writing? Yes. Commented on her article, said what I was looking for, talk to, talking to her. Is that clear? So, they make email. Yes. Email the this. Okay, and read the 
the last three paragraphs of the block uh, and the number the events in the correct order. Demek bunu yaxşılab okup çıxan bu ise bu yurdagi mana bu voltiyalarını biz toğru tartıbda nomerlaşımız gerek. Okay? So we have to numeralize the event in the correct order. Okay? So you have to read the last three paragraph of the block. Okay? So and we're here we can have the this one. So I think we have our extra reading here. And uh, I'm going to assign you a, a little bit limited time because uh, our time is limited. So try to read this um, reading within the one minute, just quickly. If you don't have any time to finish this exercise, I will read them as a homework, OK? So. Just 30 seconds to scan and uh, scan this reading, and we will go to the discussion. Here you can see the discussion. In small groups, discuss the questions and what are the plans for getting a job, what is your dream job, and uh, how will you get, and get it, and uh, are you prepared to work abroad, how difficult is it to get a job in uh, your country at the moment. And you have a uh, also role play, and here you can see uh, first uh, uh, one of you should be in a meeting, and one of you should be uh, manager. Okay, so here the, your tasks are explained with imaginary scenario questions. So just quickly scan and skim this reading. Okay. Okay, dear students, I think our time is over. That's why um, I have to say that goodbye. And um, any questions about this lesson? So you have a homework, dear students. This you are listening. 
and our duty, um, duty six is size, and then the ordering with correct number, and our discussion topic, role play, notice the questions, and the roles of yours. Yeah. So, thank you for attention and attendance, dear students. The next lesson, I expect 100% attendance. Okay. Thank you very much. Goodbye.